Welcome back to the program. It's Capital Market Live on Channel Television. As we told earlier, the Green Bond project is carried out by the FMDQ OTC Securities Exchange, officially launched this week in partnership with Climate Bond Initiative and FSD Africa. So what is the perspective of both the CBI and FSD Africa on this uh, climate financing program which has kick-started and they are supposed to partner the exchange on for the next three years? What it actually sets is that it's an institutional change that's going to shift, right? So it's no longer doing business as usual because that story, unfortunately, has not worked out to the benefit of Nigeria as a whole, right? Some have benefited, many have lost. So why is it that we can't begin to look at green bonds and green finance more generally as building a new economic narrative for the country? One that's going to be prosperous, create new jobs, um, you know, connect Africa as a whole as a continent on doing business across boundaries, across states, across countries that are able to uh, come together as a powerhouse for Africa. And I'm not saying that green bonds is going to solve all of Africa's issues um, by no means. I'm saying it's a starting point to get us to start to think about what the future development of Nigeria's economy needs to be to make it more economically competitive, but also to be able to sustain itself under you know, challenging times. Climate change is posing significant impact in Nigeria already. So how can we leverage uh, a new set of capital flows under green finance to be able to address those challenges? Right now, SEC has stepped in and has begun to put in place the guidelines. So we'll see those released uh, in the coming months. And CBI was very much involved in supporting that process. Um, we were also there to certify uh, the first, the inaugural green bond for Nigeria. So already the best practice uh, model is in place. And so now it's a matter of teaching that, creating awareness around that, uh, and uh, providing technical assistance on how to do this under best practices and make sure that the right assurance frameworks are behind these bonds. The transparency and disclosure is the selling point here, right? Nobody looks at Nigeria as a, you know, transparency and disclosure uh, type uh, culture. So can we change that just by a vehicle, financial vehicle, that in order to be able to access this money, you have to do X, Y, Z. And so over time, you can imagine that this will be a much more favorable way of doing business. Uh, so this is what we hope. This is what we're, we're here for. This event is actually very important to us as FSD Africa. FSD Africa has a mandate to transform or to help the transformation of the financial sector in Africa in order to support the people and the economies in Africa. So touching the real economy in Africa. So the green bonds and the climate bonds more generally is an example of how capital markets instruments can be used to address global challenges, including uh, climate uh, change. And uh, we feel that uh, through this program in Nigeria, we are going to be able to address sustainable development uh, in this economy that is going to touch uh, people's lives by investing in the right infrastructure, by investing in sustainable agriculture, by investing in sustainable segments of the society and the, of, and the economy that are going to not only improve the quality of lives of the people that live here in Nigeria, but are also going to improve their chances of escaping poverty and making, uh, improving the, the incomes that they generate for themselves and the, their families. So that's why this is uh, very important to us as an initiative. So what we can infer from that is that while CBI uh, provides technical uh, 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 know-how on this security, FSD Africa is meant to bring in the fund. Then domestic investors can then buy into it as well as foreign investors. But domestic investors are not the only uh, prospective investors in the green bond market, whether institutional or retail. But the United Kingdom is also keen about this product. In her expression during a chat, uh, the United Kingdom's Deputy High Commissioner, Ms. Laurie Burfields, says the green bond offers an opportunity for the United Kingdom to invest in durable and sustainable asset classes in Nigeria here. And ahead of Lord Mayor Charles Bowman's visit to Nigeria, she tells us what the investing public should expect.
I think it's a really exciting uh, innovation, uh, incredibly important program that's being launched today because it addresses two things that are absolutely top priorities for Nigeria. Uh, one, infrastructure gaps. Uh, we know we need uh, significant investments in, Africa, uh, in infrastructure around $50 billion a year is the number that's often being mooted. And climate change. We have seen the uh, devastating impact of the changing climate on livelihoods, on agriculture, on assets, on people's uh, ability to, to lead a life uh, and earn an income uh, across the country. So these green bonds bring together these two issues uh, and enable investors to invest in more durable and sustainable uh, uh, asset classes. So that's incredibly exciting. And we as the UK are keen to partner with Nigeria on this. Uh, we think that capital market deepening is, a, is an important element of uh, sustaining uh, inclusive and sustainable growth. We are committed to doing that. We've already done that. And of course, the City of London offers uh, so much opportunities for Nigeria in doing that. And the City of London wants to continue to uh, uh, support the deepening of financial services here in Nigeria in general and capital markets in particular. The Lord Mayor of London, uh, Lord Charles Bowman, is expected to visit Nigeria any moment from now. Uh, are we likely to have an engagement between him and the business community? And what should the investing community, domestically specifically, should be watching out? So I think that's absolutely why he's coming, to uh, demonstrate that the City of London really is interested uh, in Nigeria, wants to do much more to deepen and broaden trade relationships between the UK and Nigeria. And he will be looking at fintech in particular, infrastructure finance in particular, insurance as well, and more generally financial services. And in terms of what uh, business men and women here can expect from, from his visit and from the City of London, of course the City of London is known for the finance that it has. And, and, and the investments that it can make. But beyond finance and money, it also has huge capacity. And I think the Lord Mayor will be interested to uh, talk about that and how it can uh, work with partners here to build uh, capacity and to provide technical assistance uh, to further strengthen institutions that lie behind the development, uh, not just of capital markets, uh, but more broadly of uh, investors that are keen to, to support the real economy. In terms of the facility that the UK is offering Nigeria by way of guarantee, how much has been achieved so far on this product? I think uh, we're still in that uh, phase where we are developing awareness around that scheme, working with banks, working with uh, potential clients that are keen to buy British goods to uh, make sure that everyone's aware about how it works and to ensure that there is take up and that becomes used uh, uh, routinely here in Nigeria. Any, plan, any timeline for uh, take up? I think there's no timeline per se because we're not waiting for anything, but we just need to further conversations around particular uh, deals and particular uh, uh, pipelines uh, and firm them up, and then you will see things uh, coming online. So this tells you that a lot of money is coming into Nigeria, whether hot or cold type of money coming in. What are you waiting for? Start buying the green bonds now on the platform of both the FMDQ, the Securities Exchange and the Nigerian Stock Exchange. And that's all the time we have on the program for you this weekend. Thanks for being a major part of it. I'm Temple Ashaju. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.